Greetings, Cosmos, and welcome back to AM2R. Hey! The controller is working the way I want it to today. I don't know what caused it to do that. Oh yeah, last time, I was nearly destroyed by two Metroids ambushing me under the water. Jerk. Yeah, when I think about it, Honestly, I, I, I've, I've always had trouble adapting to any video game, like, at all. Like, my first... Ugh. Anyway, you know, sh shooting this thing was probably a bad idea. Whatever, I have escaped from it. Anyway, back to my story. Like, the first video games I ever played were just, what, Mario 1, Mario 3, and, uh, Mario World in some order. And then Donkey Kong Country, which I played you know, at my cousin's house. Yeah. And that was terrible at that Like, I was so terrible at Mario World that the first time I beat a level, I thought that that was the end of the game. Because my cousins had already unlocked all the levels, or at least enough of the levels that, you, that they had access to the final boss. And, uh, hey, hey, map. According to the map, I should be able to go left to left. Anyway. Oh, nice! Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, video games. I've always been kind of bad at them, and every bit of skill I've gotten with video games has been a struggle. So, when I took up playing Dark Souls, like four years after it first came out, I kind of took to it like a fish to water, simply because it was getting at all good at it was a struggle that I was familiar with. Huh. Now I really want to go to the right here, but that's mostly because I can't. Yeah, with Dark Souls. Oh no! Bad idea. Made retroactively less bad. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, Dark Souls. Like, think about this. Super Mario RPG is a really easy RPG. I could not get past the first boss guarding a star piece, Mac, or whatever his name was, for, like, years. I mean, partially because I was renting the game on weekends, and so every time I played, I had to get back to Mac. But then, like, Mac would spend, like, the next two days of my rental time just destroying me. In Final Fantasy VI, I think it was, I could not get past the... Oh gosh, where did I get stuck? I'm trying to remember. Oh, hey, guess what I guess guess what I'm guessing I'm gonna be getting soon. Oh yeah, so in Final Fantasy 3, I got stuck on the first Ultros fight. Er, 3. I'm calling it 3 because that's what it was called in my country back in the day. You know, in not Japan back in the day. Alright. One of my favorite abilities. 
it's it's a real testament to Metroid that I like most of the abilities that I get. All right, I can destroy these by doing this using the screw attack. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Part of my issue with video games is... Like, most of my issues I have when I play video games, or any other game for that matter, is I have trouble... Like, they're, these are my issues, not issues with the games themselves. Is I have trouble adapting to them. So how do I get to the other side of that? That's the question. Well, with this new power-up, I have lots of new stuff to explore. I love how hypothetically you could defeat those Metroids without getting the gravity suit. It's beyond me. But yeah, like something something video games, something something. Oh, hey, these. These take you all over the game. Anyway, something, something. So, sometimes it's just trouble adapting to whatever a game is asking me to do. Sometimes it's uh, just a refusal. Like with trading card games, I bought into the fantasy of everyone having their own unique deck. And sure, I did accept that there were better and worse ways, ways to build a deck, like in the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game. Building a deck where, uh... Oh really, you can only move this with more fall bombs. That's interesting. No! Yeah, in the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game, I accepted that there were better and worse ways to build a deck, but, you know... I didn't take that to the conclusion that that meant that there were optimal ways to build a deck. And, you know, there are. To get to that, I need to use the speed booster underwater. Anyway, the Yu Gi Oh! trading card game. Better and worse ways to build a deck, like... In, in Yu-Gi-Oh! you don't have resource cards, or resources at all, limiting your ability to play cards per turn, except, uh, um, the fact that you can only play one monster from your hand, consequent, without, without using another card to do, or without using a card special ability to play a monster from your hand, and some monsters require you to sacrifice other monsters to play them. And so, I fully acknowledge that, you know, building a deck where, say, you have two monsters that require you to sacrifice other monsters, one monster that's small enough to play without requiring any kind of sacrifice, and then that's all the monsters in your deck, was well, probably a bad way to build a deck if you're planning to win on win by using monsters. But I refused to acknowledge for the longest time that there were more and less optimal ways, or that there were, was a potential optimal way to build a deck, even though that's a natural consequence of there being better and worse. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out where I even want to go from here. Hmm. What if I go over to the right and down? Well, no, first I'm going to head upwards-ish in order to get, or try to get, a power-up that I missed.
Alright, I'm in the right region. Alright, yeah. I fully acknowledge that even though that I want really wanted to buy into the fantasy that was being advertised at me as far as trading cards game cards game go. And that's why like after a certain point, I stopped getting better at trading card games because, well, I refused to get better at them because I wanted to play in a certain way and the games simply weren't built to play that way. Doesn't help that with the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game at least, it seems like the uh, creators, well, the company responsible for at least, thought they were building, like, based on the way it was designed, they thought that they were building one game, but in reality they had an entirely different game. And I was all about the game that they thought they were making. Wait, can I go? No, I cannot. Can I go up here? Oh, hey, I can go up here now. Alright, so I can shortcut my way through various places. Wait a second. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. I missed something big and important up here. Big and important. I'm just gonna let all these enemies destroy themselves rather than deal with them myself. Anyway, what was I talking about? Oh yeah. Getting better at card games or the other sorts of games. Huh. Is this gonna take me where I wanna go? Yes! It's not obvious that it did that, but it did that. Wait, no, 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 no. I'm in an entirely different region, never mind. Where even am I? Anyway, I'm gonna use these later once I get the rest of the Metroids here and uh... Hmm. It really looks like there's a secret up here. I am just going to jump into all of these in the vein and hope that one of them takes me where I want to go there. There, though. Okay. Okay, this might be it. Yes. I both love and hate this segment. Standing in front of these walls blurs the screen a bit, makes the screen all static and disables your weapon. So part of what you gotta do here is figure out how to get where you want to go without your weapon. Like, I cannot open this door because I cannot fire my weapon. It's great. And I cannot open this door without firing my weapon. But... I have an out. A really clever out that I quite like. Hmm. I can't use bombs either. Okay, so. No. Hmm. Oh, hey. What the secret lies if it does? <sighs> okay, there we go. Wait, well, anyway, yeah. Metroid Fusion. When I for ooh, look at that. It looks like I'm Dark Solace. And then no, no. It's just 
quote unquote just the gravity suit. But look, when I first played this, I thought that getting the gravity suit disabled the background stuff, but now I think it just makes me immune somehow? Oh, look, I, I wouldn't have been able to progress in this chamber anyway. Oh, I guess I would have because this was still functional, but I wouldn't have been able to get past it. Where does this take me? Oh, oh goodness, is this where I think it is? Yeah, Metroid Fusion completely destroyed me. For the longest time. But I kept pushing on it. Eventually won the first time. But then it got easier after that. Super Metroid later completely destroyed me. Metroid Zero Mission completely destroyed me. Oh no! But uh... This game wasn't so bad. Probably because it already felt familiar. Oh hey! There's how I get in from here. So! I missed a power-up. And want to go pick it up. Also, I want revenge on those Metroids. Uh, but I think I've recorded enough for today. Join me next time when I get revenge on those Metroids and go pick up that one power up. <laughs>